Okay, dudes, oh, what is up? And we are back here once again on some more Marvel Contest Champions. And have we got news for you guys? Oh, have we got news for you? That's right. Someone's completed Labyrinth of Legends. What the heck? This is crazy. Now, I don't know if this is a rumor. I have no clue. All I know is I went over to my Twitter page last night and I saw this picture posted right here, what you guys can see, by Angel Ramirez. And he says, HQ Sean from MMX1, or is it IV, stand for four, 100% completed. Holy moly. This Dude, this is insane. Like I said, right, this could be a rumor. This could be fake. I don't know. I hear a lot from this guy now, um, HQ Sean. Not me, like, I hear from him personally, but I hear a lot about him. Like, he's, like, becoming, like, the new brutal. He's becoming, like, the new face of Marvel Contest of Champions. Before, like, brutal, brutal, uh, bu brutal, brutal DLX, man. No, I'm even getting the name uh, tongue-tied there. Was, like, the name... Everybody knew his name, but now it's like HQ Sean is the name of Marvel Contest of Champions. It's insane now. Like I said, I have no clue if this is true. I, I think it is true. Um, these guys have probably tons of money to put on this game as it is because they're in an Awakened uh, Alliance anyway. You probably have to have like a thing like you're not allowed in this alliance unless you spend like 10 grand a month on the game. No, no, no. I'm only joking. I have no clue. But they're probably millionaires that play this game anyway. Um, but yeah, it's absolutely insane. Someone's completed Labyrinth of Legends. What the holy moly is it? insane dude you know what you see since this labyrinth of legends came out there's an old school film guys called um the labyrinth or labyrinth it's something labyrinth i think it's the labyrinth it's like an old film mate i've made amazing night like, the 70s or 80s you have to watch it trust me i watched it the other day and i was like oh it's on net i think it's on netflix if you've got netflix type in labyrinth and watch it trust me old school film it was it was awesome just this reminded me of it and it was really really cool but um yeah i can't believe that this has already been completed like already this is meant to be like the impossible like kabam it, it, this was meant to be the impossible no one was meant to be able to do this what the holy mo this was meant to be the thing of things which nobody in the world, no matter how much money you put into the game, could complete it. Now, I don't know. If this is true, I have no clue how much money he spent. Um, I'm thinking thousands. It, ha it has to be thousands, right? There's no way it can be hundreds. It has to be thousands. 10, 20, 30, 000. I don't know. I don't know. I know this game eats money. So uh, I definitely know Labyrinth right there. Probably HQ Sean just probably paid for the whole uh, of the Labyrinth of Legends to be like created. Him himself going through it with all the money he just probably put into the game. Probably just paid for the development of it. That's probably how much he probably paid to do it. That's insane, right? Holy, I can't believe it. Let's look at the rewards all right so as you guys can see yeah he got a five cyclops there with the rewards um i think you actually get uh it's one of three of them in it so i think you i think it's like a random either cyclops rhino or ronan or something like that with the ones you get out of realm of legends i think it's one of them characters but you get five times it's a randomized one he got cyclops i think that's the case i'm not too sure i can't actually see the rewards of mine because i need to go through the road to labyrinth first so i can't even see the rewards but um, as you guys can see there like nothing else really matters there like he got like a what is it what's that crystal the red one egg we got 100 of them red crystal i don't know what that is he got a, a five star awakening gem so he can awaken any of his five stars there which is awesome he got 45 thousand five star shards which that's uh, in total gonna open up like either three featured uh five star crystals or it's gonna be four five star crystals and then halfway to another one so i don't know what he will do there but uh forget all that stuff forget forget all of that stuff there He's got Ultron, man. He's got the original old school Ultron five star. He's going to awaken that with the awakening gem. He's going to have an awakened Ultron. What the heck? He's going to have an awakened Ultron. Not even the Ultron we got in the game. The look at him. Look. Oh, my God, dudes. I'm hyped. This is crazy. This, you don't understand. Like, uh, this is nuts. If this is if this is fake, I'm literally I'm going to cry. I swear to you, I will. I will officially cry. Angel Ramirez, if this is fake, I will cry. I hope it's not. But oh my god, I want Ultron. 
He's going to have him awakened as well. That's the crazy thing. He's going to have him awakened on top of that as well. So definitely he's going to be using that awakening gem on him. Holy oh, I want him to make him the profile face. If he can make Ultron his profile face, we are going to duel him. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, my God. This is insane, dudes. That literally this is, this is... I can't believe it's been completed already. Dudes, I just can't believe it's been completed already. This is this is insane. I honestly did not think it was going to be completed already. Like, there's no way. I just thought, like, I think everybody thought this is going to be, like, not like the impossible. I even thought Kabam probably thought it was going to be the impossible, to tell you the honest truth. It's just crazy. Like, just looking at the rewards there, very cool. The cool thing about it is you get Ultron, and then you get to awaken him as well. So you get an awakened Ultron, which is very cool. Regardless, even if it is only one level, it doesn't matter. He's still awakened. And hopefully when they bring out the level ones I think that might be the red one there that gives you um, things to put on um, for five star levels of the Awakened Billy. I'm not too sure. I know, I, I know I've seen that red one somewhere. I know I've seen it somewhere. Um, but yeah, very cool, man. I want to say like congratulations to HQ Sean, if it is true. Uh, congratulations, dude. You are like the ultimate beast. You are like the new face now of uh, Marvel Contest of Champions. Like, yeah, yeah. No, definitely he's the new face. To complete it first, if there's anybody else that's actually completed it like before him which i don't think there is this is the first news i've ever heard of anything like this but if there was anybody else i'm sorry if i did not do anything but i have no information but if you are hq sean die home that's amazing that's just insane i never thought i would see it no I, I thought i would see it one day one day just not yet just definitely definitely not yet it's insane all right so Let's come off this picture now. As you guys can see, I'm here. I searched up HQ Sean so we can go and check him out. Look, he's overall rating, man. That's crazy. Like four and a half million. That's like, no, we're nearly, nearly a million. Wait, four and a half million. But four, if, he, if he was four and a half million, we'll be, all, we'll be in trouble. He's like 450,000, like almost. Like, that's insane. Let's go and tap into his profile right here. A uh, few profile. This is, look, look, at look at his roster. Look at his roster, dudes. I'm, oh, I want to see all of his roster. I want to see his whole roster. That's what I want. How many times has he got magic? How many times has he do? 100. I swear that ability actually can go to uh, 200. So uh, 100. He's duped out a five-star magic five times. That's insane. What about here? 100 as well there. What? If this is 100, I think something might, oh, 80 there. And what is this one? Oh, well, no, don't, 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 don't say that one. Oh, only once there. All right, yeah, yeah, cool. But damn, look at this, dude. Look at the alliance rating. That's insane. Eleven and a half million. Awakened is eleven and a half million now. Holy moly, donut shop. Damn, that's crazy. The legend. He is. He should be like. What is he? Just a normal person. He's just a member. How is he a member? He should, be, he should be at least an officer or something, man. What the heck? Look at this. It's insane. No, I, 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 have, I don't have the call to even say that he should be an officer because at the end of the day, you don't know how they run their alliance over there. But damn, he's a good player. Damn, he's a good player. Let's come down here. Let's see. Let's see all these stats and stuff. Um, wow. I've actually seen people with a higher PvP fights uh, won there. Quest fires. I've actually seen uh, a lot of things higher than that, but... Who cares about that stuff, man? Who cares about that stuff? He's completed the Labyrinth of Legends. Who, who cares about that? It wouldn't even matter even if it was like he only won 10 fights. <laughs> oh, it don't even matter, man. <laughs> Let's go to... Oh, no, there's no point going into his alliance, but... I, oh, look at this. I love the smoke behind the magic there. Magic's a beast, you know. A lot of people think magic is not good. No, 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 no. Right, I've said it about a thousand times in all my videos. How come this? This is what... Do you know what I really don't understand here? Why is magic his face when the Nightcrawler is the overall highest? Is it, I think it might be his masteries that made the Nightcrawler higher. So that's why um, Nightcrawler is not up there. And if he took all his masteries off, it would be magic. Um, that's the only one reason why I think it is. But as you can see right there, his Nightcrawler is uh, 9,253 overall rating. And magic is 9,190. So really, technically, uh, uh, Nightcrawler should be his face. Look, all on rank 4s as well. Damn, I haven't even got a five star rank three, let alone a four. He's got all of them that we can see. I want to see his roster. I want to see his roster. I want to know what, what team he went through with it. That's what I want to see. Damn, man. That's insane, dudes. Uh, yeah, you, I, I have a feeling you're definitely going to get contacted by Kabam now. 
You're going to be the new face of Kabam. They're going to want to work with you, definitely, man. Be Look to the future. You're going to probably see HQ Sean with his own channel. Kabam has just set it up for him. <laughs> no, I don't know if that is true, but damn, that is insane, dude. I, do you know what I really want to know? I want to know how much money he actually took to spend to do that. That's what I want to know. Like, if you guys had to make a guess, I'm saying like a minimum $10,000 or whatever. Something round about there. Like, some insane amount. There's no way it was cheap. I remember, I remember, right, when uh, the Realm of Legends first got completed, right, before, before, like, all this, it was easy and all that, when it, when, when the Le Realm of Legends first ever came out, I think even before the, the bonuses came out, or whatever came out, and, um, I remember Brutal done it first. I think Brutal was the first one to do it. And uh, everyone was saying, yeah, to complete the Realm of Legends, it cost around about two grand, right? $2,000. That's what it was, the roughly amount of $1,500 to $2,000. That's what it actually took to complete Realm of Legends when it first ever came out. And obviously, then, then it just got really easy for you guys that could play the game really well. So, um... This was meant to be made the hardest of the hard. I don't know how many times you had to go around. I think he 100% he completed it. Like, he's not just gone through it once. He's 100% completed. 100. I don't think, like, you have to compliment, compliment. Like, you, have to, you have to put it in your head right there. 100%. Like, I don't think it's just like a one route round. I think there's loads of routes to go through the labyrinth. And, and he's 100% done it. So I'm thinking minimum $10,000. Like, or maybe even more. I'm just saying that's a minimum. Minimum, right? There's I'm trying to say these guys are millionaires that play this, man. These guys are millionaires. These guys, these guys, when they sleep, they make billions man <laughs> that's the kind of guys these guys are unless they're undercover developers and then they 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 uh they, they don't really complete it they just do that man they just said yeah hey look we done it yeah what do you do they put cheats on it or something like that no i don't think it is i don't i don't really care anyway dude, don't you i'm too happy this is celebrations right here dudes this is insane but yeah I, I definitely know this was not cheap. Nah, there's no way that he could have completed this on the cheap. There's no way. Because you know what? With all the buffs and everything else in the labyrinth, no, no, it's not happening on the cheap. There's no way, no matter how good you are on this game, you're going to complete this on the cheap. Never. This is like... This is like a remortgage your house to complete sort of a quest right here. Yeah, I'm not joking. Re got remortgage your damn house, yeah. Your million pala your million pound or your million dollar crib has just been remortgaged because you wanted to complete the Labyrinth of Legends. You go to the bank and say, yeah, I want to remortgage. Hey, what for? I want to complete the Labyrinth of Legends. And look at you. What the heck are you talking about, man? Listen, get your mobile phone. All right, cool. Download Marvel Contest Champions. What? Just download it. Look. You see that says right there? Labyrinth of Legends. They say, yeah, okay. That's why I want to remortgage my house right there. They're going to look at you and go, nah, bruv. Nah, 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 nah. We're not giving you the money. Forget that. Get out of here. They're going to just point the door. They're going to say, get out. You're not going to do that. What the heck are you talking about, man? <laughs> no, please, dudes, don't do it. Don't do it. If anybody thinks about running, I, I know already people, yeah, that's run up credit card debts for this game. Please, guys, don't do that. I'm being honest with you. Look, the only reason why I spend loads of money on this game, if you can call it loads of money, compared to a lot of people, it's literally pennies. But, um, yeah, I do put a little bit of money into the game. To the average person, yeah, it's a lot of money in the game. Uh, probably, probably whatever it is I put on there. But it's only because of your guys' support I put the money on. Like, literally, all the money I make on YouTube, guys, goes on to these mobile games and all, all the other games I play. Like, literally, whatever I make from your guys' support, I put straight back into the channel. None of the money I get from you guys' support I use on my lifestyle. Trust me, I work my my butt off for that money um all the money i make from youtube goes back all into these games to entertain you guys so that's the whole way if i wasn't making the money i wouldn't do crystal openings i wouldn't do this and i wouldn't do that so um yeah that's what i do i if i if i wasn't making no money off youtube when i first started i put a little bit of my own money nowhere near as much as i used to but i used to put a little bit of money into it um and then it was getting to the point where i was like no i'm gonna stop now but then i started making money on youtube i was like yeah that's the one that's the only money i'm gonna put into the game now and that's what i do i would never run up credit card debts i would never remortgage my house i wouldn't sell my cars i wouldn't sell my bikes i wouldn't do none of that because i know people that do that stuff man which is insane so please Take it fine from me. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's a game. What are you going to do in two, three years' time when everyone goes, yeah, Marble Contest Champions is crap, man. I don't even play that game no more. What, what are you going to do then? Well, hey, man, you've just lost your house or your cars, and no one even cares about the game no more. Or what are you going to do? Worst come to worst, Marble Contest of Champions 2 come out. Yeah, that's right. Marvel Contest of Champions 2. What are you going to do then? You just spent about, like, what, half a million on this game, and now you've got to start from the beginning on number two. 
How are you going to feel then? How are you going to feel? Don't do it. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's Ultron. He's cool. Yes, he is very cool. But it's not worth it, guys. <laughs> don't. I'm on a hype. I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. Because just sometimes thinking about, obviously, the money that people spend on this game. They must be somewhat millionaires. Because damn, it's insane. It is absolutely. I know people that spend like thousands every week on opening crystals. Like, really? Thousands of what are you doing? Please, yeah, like, I make good money for my work, but can you, can I come and join you in your work, please? If you, if you've got that much to spend on games, I want to join you in your work, yeah? Sign me up, give me an application form, I will send that straight off. <laughs> oh my god, but, um, yeah, okay, dudes. We've had a little bit of fun here. Well, I've had fun anyway, talking about it. Absolutely awesome. Let me know what you guys think all about this in the comments below, or come over to Twitter. That's where all this information comes over to, or Twitter, remember? So um, if you haven't got a, uh, a Twitter account, dude, it takes literally like three seconds. At first, I didn't even want to create a, a Twitter uh, account to one of my YouTuber friends um, before he actually stopped doing YouTube now. He actually talked me into actually doing one, and I was like, oh yeah, right, cool, I've done it. And literally, it took me like three seconds. It's like, not even that long. Dung. There you go. You've, got, you've, got an, you've got a Twitter account, literally seconds. If you can make a, a, a Google account, trust me, uh, Twitter account's quicker. Trust me, just do that. Make one up, come over, follow us. You can follow us. So as soon as I upload a video, boom, you get notified straight away because YouTube's notifications are lame. Um, but yeah, you get notified when I put videos up. You guys can come over there. And literally, guys, I do my darn best to uh, reply to every single one of the messages I get over there. Even if I'm not on for like two days on Twitter, I will go back and I will go down every single message until I find everybody and I try and talk to everyone. If I do miss you out, I'm so sorry, but I'm, I'm pretty sure 99% of the time I don't miss nobody out. So there might be the one odd message I do miss out and if I do, I'm so sorry. But um, yeah, dudes, come over to Twitter. The link is in the description below if you do want to come over there and check the Twitter out. We've got an awesome little fan base, little community going on over there. You guys are really awesome over on twitter uh no horrible people over there they're all nice people no trolls or anything like on youtube there's tons of trolls but over there there's no trolls the good thing about it is they can just mute them and they can never come back to it again which is really really awesome um so yeah come over to twitter uh show some love if you have any news or anything that you want to share with us it don't even have to be marvel contest of champions related you can do any other thing as well we're going to start bringing loads of other things to the games uh to the channel soon as well so if you guys got any suggestions on games to play and stuff come over there uh, screenshot a game if you want uh, it, do it doesn't even have to be a mobile game if you want us to do PC games console games I've got both consoles. I've got PlayStation and I've got uh, Xbox 360 as well. Not 360 Xbox one Sorry 360. That's how much I play my Xbox one. I don't even play it that much It's literally unplugged right now The last time I played it was when I played doom and then that was it even though doom is such an awesome game I need to finish it off. I haven't even finished it. It was crazy. But um, okay, dudes until then we'll see you guys in the next episode Doom